Could Miles Garrett be coming to the Philadelphia Eagles? Ooh, I would love that. I would love that. We got that to talk about. We also got to talk about Nick Sirianni. It seemed like he taking the villain role. Okay. Hey, man, it is what it is. Sometimes it's things that you just got to embrace, and it looked like he doing that. But uh, we do got to talk about some play calling. I think Kellen Moore, you need to, you need to let him do his job. Quinion Mitchell is the CB1. There's no discussion. There's no debate. And he might be the best cornerback in the division. Probably. Most likely. Matter of fact, guaranteed. Yo, that. I hit with it worse. Had it 10 in one start. Then our season just got put in the hearse. But I feel like it's a gift and a curse. We learn from it. And we don't stay stuck on that page. We turn from it. Lost Kelsey, but ain't stopping nothing. Still gonna run up all them steps till we rocky something. Put your corner right on ice or Smitty Hockey something. This and white right up the middle, but a block or something. Uh, all my birds come correct. No, they ready to bet. Stole Saquon from New York. Took a body. You're, you're, yo, that man, you know who it is. You know what it is. You're all fully fresh, aka the general here with Paul for Duty. Listen, if you haven't done it, make sure you hit that sub button. That's right now. That, that, there, go. Yes, and also, it is a bell next to it. Let you know the water slave, a notification gang, yo, that gang, yo, that. Please, please hit the like button for your boy. However, the algorithm works, more people get to see me, more people get to see the merch, and the merch is on fire. Shout out to all y'all for copping up. Shout out to Print Champs for sponsoring this video. This video is also sponsored to you by Shafir's Journey, man. If you don't know, my son was in an accident. Listen, man, I ain't even gonna talk. I'm gonna let them say it. Shafir is paralyzed from the waist down, an innocent bystander caught in the path of bullets not meant for him. I was in a park waiting for a friend to play basketball with. And somebody had ski mask on. He came to the bike on, on a bike. He just pulled the gun from out of his pocket. I started running. He shot about four times. Hit me in the back over here and went through here all the way to my side. Shafir has come a long way throughout his year and a half journey in physical and occupational therapy. He's made great strides in Shout out to CBS, man. Shout out to CBS for having my son and my wife on. Shout out to my son, man, just being a strong survivor. Uh, we had our first, um, we had our first uh, nonprofit uh, event, man, last night. It was a, a success. Thank you for everybody for donating. I will put the link in the uh, description, man. We just trying to get these kids that's in the same situation as my son. We trying to get them, you know, supplies and all that kind of things, man. So. Just make sure, make sure y'all hit the link. All right. Fresh fact today is, fresh fact today is, sometimes it's okay to embrace yourself. If you have what people might call a defect or what people might call something that might <clears throat> prohibit you, prohibit you from doing other things and all that kind of stuff, embrace it. Embrace it. And get the good things out of it, man. Don't just dwell on it saying, man, I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm dyslexic or whatever the case may be because your boy's dyslexic. If y'all didn't know, I'm dyslexic, but I found a way how to figure it out and you know, how to use those things to, to my advantage, man. So just embrace it, man. Don't, don't hover over it. All right. Nick Sirianni is embracing being the villain, I guess you want to call it. You've seen the video, man. Everybody's seen the video. I ain't even gonna play it. Him and him, him at practice, they playing mini man. He 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 out there looking like he out there looking like he won war. He won smoke, and I ain't got no problem with that. Um, supposedly the fan had came out and said that Nick Sirianni just was just was yelling at him. I told you, I told you, I told you, and I do got Nick Sirianni doing something like that. I ain't got him cussing out. Um, um a Philadelphia Eagle fan. I got him going to other fans because we seen that in Kansas City and all that kind of stuff. But I ain't really got him doing that with, um, with a Philadelphia Eagles fan. So shout out to the fan. If, if it's true, that came out and said, you know, and said what he said. And I and I appreciate that. But Nick Sirianni, we definitely still got to talk because when you looking at it, the things that we was promised, we are really not getting. Yes, we're getting some of the motion. Yes, yes, we're getting some of the pre-stat motion. You like that, that's cool. But we're not utilizing the middle of the field. 
We're 29th when utilizing the middle of the field. And once again, just like last year, when we utilize the middle of the field, good things happen every freaking time. Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, uh, Brent Cocatera. A.J. Brown did not go in the middle of the field all game against the Cleveland Browns. That's a problem. That's a major problem. So that gotta be that gotta be switched up. That that gotta be taken care of. Because these guys are gonna eat in the middle of the field. For real, for real. Let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it tall like City Hall real fast, y'all. If AJ Brown catches a slant for whatever how it don't even matter the down, it don't matter how many yards it's gotta be. These guys ain't don't want to tackle this dude. Man, he's a freak. AJ Brown is really a freak. The speed that he has, the strength, the mobility, everything that he has makes him a freak. And we should embrace that and use that in the middle of the field. These guys don't really want no smoke. And we should we should definitely do that against the Giants. We're going to talk about the Giants tomorrow. I'm going to get my do's and don'ts. But I had to just make this video because it's like this, this, this offense can be so much better. And it start, to me, it starts with that. It starts to utilize in the middle of the field, letting Keller Moore be the guy that he was brought here to be. Let him make the decisions. Let him make the calls because the the def the offense is looking vanilla. Now to the defense. Yo, listen, man, I got a shout out to defensive line getting five. Well, it wasn't just a defensive line. It was Cooper Jajon. It was, it was a lot of people, but the defense definitely showed up against Cleveland. I understand that. Cleveland uh, offense is what it is. But still, a lot of people don't hold them. Nobody has held them to no touchdowns. To no touchdowns. So this defense, to me, is night and day. It's, it's Jekyll and Hyde. I mean, you have games in the Green Bay game, you've seen flashes. The Saints game, they was totally dominant. The Cleveland game, they was dominant. But then you'll go out there and, 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 and get smoked in the last... 50 seconds against Atlanta. Then you'll go out there and get smoked by Baker Mayfield. So it's like, what we really, what what are we? Vic Fangio, I got a question for you. What really are we? We really don't have no identity except, except Queen Yon Mitchell. Yo, stud, when you look at the tape, when you actually watch the game and you watch how this kid play and he's only a rookie, he is the best cornerback in the NFC East. And as the year as the year goes on, we're going to get further and further, saying he's the best cornerback in the NFC, best quarterback in the league. He he definitely right now is the top five cornerback in the, in the, in the NFL. He is. And this is just as a rookie, man. This was a hell of a pick. And then you bring in Cooper Jajon. You bring in Cooper Jajon for the for the second round pick. Nobody wanted him. And you seen so many flashes. It wasn't even really flashes. It was dominant performance. And he's still kind of mad at himself because he feels as though the first thing they asked him, like, how you play? Like, man, I should have had a strip set on Deshaun, on, on, on Deshaun Watson. And that's what you want from your players, not them. Ah, uh, yeah, man, I, I was out there. You see me? You see me? He said, no, nah, man, I got to get better. I got to get better. This two tandem, this tandem right here, the, the, the first round pick and the second round pick, oh, man, we going to love these guys for years to come. I don't even do jerseys, but I think I might get me a Klingon Mitchell or a Cooper Jajine jersey, man, because I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm seeing. So, Vic Fangio, you definitely got your work cut up for you for the rest of the year. Now, I'm not saying against the Giants, but they do got Malik neighbors. I do think he will be back from his concussion situation, and we're going to get into the do's and don'ts tomorrow. But I just got a message for Vic. I don't know if Darius Slay is going to play, but even if he does, I need Queen Al Mitchell on him. Let, let the young guy eat. And then if he get in barbecue chicken, which I don't think is going to happen, you switch, you switch Darius Slay on it. But I need man-to-man -man bumper run coverage and let him ball. Let these two rookies go at it because it's going to be the show. It's going to be the show. And it's going to be some times Quenya Mitchell, um, uh, Malik, Malik Neighbors might get might get the best of Quenya Mitchell, but that's where the defensive line got to come in and get Daniel Jones on the freaking ground. Yo, listen, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of the defense last week. It might not seem like a lot because of the Cleveland Browns once again, but you got to start somewhere. 
you got to start somewhere and the philadelphia eagles definitely starting somewhere especially when you got and when you implement cooper jejean and take out um uh maddox it looked like a whole new a whole new defense the defensive line was getting rotated a lot more and i like that you want to try to keep a guy like jordan davis who's not always in the best of shape you want to keep your snaps down but you also want to let other guys like a jobu and also uh uh milton williams you want to let them eat and everybody was eating that's what you got to do Vic. i understand that you're trying to fill players out and i, and I get it pause but you understand what i'm saying and i get it but man you did your thing and that needs to continue because this defense definitely can be dominant. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Y'all already know. Stay Philly. Stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.